Secret Agents and welcome back! We're here yet again for another weekly mission infiltrating some of my favorite blockchain based games. I'm the only one that does this. Nobody else does blockchain games like I do it. There's a couple of people out there that stream a game right here or there but uh, I'm bringing you some of the best and most interesting and you know uh, um, highest earning play to earn games uh, here weekly, we're talking about them, we're jumping in, we're, we're showing you exactly why it's important and talking about blockchain gaming in general and what's going on. And so I appreciate you guys being here with me every week and, uh, and you know, partaking in these missions with me. You know, I couldn't do without you guys. I mean, if I'm just here, I sometimes I'm just talking to myself, I think, you know, but that's okay. I'll still be here. Still be here at Secret Agent Headquarters. You can see we're here at, the, at our headquarters like normal. Uh, all the all the stuff's going on in the background. We're tracking everything, making sure that uh, you know we can infiltrate this game that we're going to be playing today called Nine Lives Arena. Uh, this is a really actually fun game, and I'm surprised it doesn't have more hype around it. Even though it is in kind of like closed alpha state right now, it, it's at a point where you know it's actually I actually it's in, super enjoyable to play. There's still a lot of features, but uh, they still have a lot more to go as far as development wise is concerned. And I do think that. You know, it's going to get to the point where th this game is out and people are like, wow, this is this is actually really fun. You know, there, there's a lot of blockchain games out there and not a lot of them really deal with this style of, of fighting PvP. And Nine Lives Arena does a really good job of that. And not only is it a blockchain based game where you can play and you can earn, you can build up your, your Oogie. We'll talk about Oogies. Oogies are like one of my favorite parts of the game, actually. I really love the Oogie. And, uh, you know, what, what you basically can do here is you can craft uh, unique weapons and you can actually then go sell those weapons in a marketplace. So if I got blueprints that I had purchased from the, their store and then went and crafted some of these these uh, these items, you know, they've sold out on some of these blueprints. You just can't get them anymore. And so, you know, th that means that, you know, only that person has that recipe to craft that item. They may be the only one that, that is going to be able to put that item onto the marketplace for other people to buy. And this is how you get all of the kind of high level weapons. You know, and so this brings it, you know us to another one of those good points where, well, what what is the benefit of blockchain gaming over traditional gaming? Where is the chicken? <laughs> chicken for dinner tonight, baby. We're going to be eating chicken, chicken winner, winner, chicken dinner. You know what I'm saying? MKZ Core, what's going on? Hey, wh where's all my stashers at? I know we got a couple of stashers here. Uh, you know, appreciate you guys hanging out uh, with me. Hell yeah, nine LA rocks. Yeah, I, I think it does too. So appreciate all my stashers hanging out, all my agents here. Greetings from Unchained Ninja. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, thanks for joining me here. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're going to get on some Nine Lives Arena today. We're going to get into some matches. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to get our Oogie up and running. And uh, we're going to be able to, uh, we're going to be able to, um, you know, uh, show you all the different aspects of it. So hopefully there'll be some people on there that I can actually battle, get in the training arena, show you guys how to do it. I'm a little rusty, to be honest. I haven't played this game in probably about a month or two, uh, maybe since the last time I streamed it, not gonna lie, I've been really busy, you know, it's hard, there's so many great games out there, it's hard to be able to like play these games pretty consistently. So, you know, the other thing too uh, with uh, engine-based games or Ethereum-based games is that, you know, um, I've been, tra you know, I I'm, I'm a pretty active trader when it comes to NFTs and being in the marketplaces, but with the fees of the way they've been here recently, it's really hard to, uh, you know jump into the, a lot of these games and do a bunch of training and you know get into it and, and then you know, find out like oh my gosh well I want to start buying all these really cool weapons or all these cool skins uh, for my character or new oogies and I, it, the, the fees make it prohibitive I, I just can't get in you know I can't get into to um, you know I can't get into just uh, uh, you know buying all these things because it's like well that for this item that is two dollars I got to pay a ten dollar fee on ethereum so I do know that that has been kind of crushing things here, uh, here lately with Ethereum-based uh, games. And so I'm hoping that this is going to give an opportunity to some other chains uh, to be able to start coming really strong here with the games. Are there other chains that you guys know about or other games on other chains that, that you guys are interested in that I should be checking out besides Ethereum-based games? I just recently looked at the Phantasm uh, blockchain and they have a really cool game on there called 21 Racers. 
Uh, and it, it, you know, it looks really interesting. I got in there. I got a, a race pass. And I, I started looking at how playing that goes. You know, that one's a little hard because uh, you actually do need a, a, a controller for that one. Doing it on the computer, it doesn't really work. You got to have a controller. So, but if there's other cool games you guys know about that are not Ethereum-based games, I want to know about them, and I'll try and jump in and find out play, and uh, how how to play them, and you know, see if I can get in on that ecosystem. You know, a lot of times these games are kind of slow-paced games. So things like Upland, Upland's pretty popular, right? But it's a very slow game. I, I couldn't really stream Upland because it's just, you know, my little icon moving around a map all slow. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> and there's a couple other that, you know, are, are, are not necessarily, uh, you know, kind of high-paced games that would be great for streaming. So it needs to be something that has some action, you know? The 9LA team is legit. They certainly are. I love the team at 9 Lives Arena. I actually did a really cool um, uh, interview with them and a bunch of other engine-based games in Decentraland about a month ago, which was a lot of fun. I had them all there. We interviewed them, and we were talking about just you know blockchain gaming in general, about the engine environment. And it was cool to do it inside uh, 9 Lives Arena. And uh, Dread, if you guys know Dreadlord from the 9LA team, he's always in the, in the Telegram chat and hanging out. Uh, he was there with me and, and answering a lot of questions, and it was a lot of fun. So, just joined some 9LA. When are you playing some fights? I should sleep, but might join if it's not too late. I'm gonna jump in right now. So uh, we always talk a little bit about blockchain gaming, what 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 the game's about, what what else is going on uh, in, in the gaming uh, blockchain gaming universe, and then we we gotta get into disguise. I can't go in, guys. Like I can't go in in my in my uh, secret agent outfit, just my you know what I'm wearing here when I'm in the office in the headquarters. I gotta get in disguise first before we jump into this game. Because if I'm not in disguise, people are going to know who I am. So I want to go in and infiltrate this game and so I can show you all the features without being recognized. And so that, that's what we got to do first. So we're definitely going to jump on that. NFTs are awesome. Check out Phantasm. So yeah, they're building their NFT blockchain. Yes, I was just talking about Phantasm. So I was checking out their uh, 21 racers. So uh, it's, it looks great. It looks great. I just need to get a controller, like, a, like one of the Steam controllers. And so I can play it because I try to do it on, on computer uh, just using a keyboard and uh, it does not work very well for that. So yeah, so yeah, Oogies are great. I love Oogies uh, checking in. What's up, P. Wow, what's going on, man? Got got some more of my agents here. Brutal beard. All right, cool, MK. Yeah, definitely, man. Jump in. We're, I'm going to be doing it right now. Cat stash, nine lives. I, you know, I, I have three different characters right now. And, uh, you know, I, I'm starting to build my third character, actually. So the first one, I, I, I kind of, the, actually, the first two, I kind of jacked up as far as, like, the skills I was getting. Because, uh, it you know, as much as it, it's a simple game on the surface, it's actually kind of complex, too. Every time I play the game, I learn something new. So there's always someone that's like, oh, hey, what about that? You didn't do that this way, or you didn't do this thing. I was like, oh, shit, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert at these games. I'm not the champion, uh, but I do love showcasing them, promoting them, and I do love playing them. I just wish I could get a little bit more time in a lot of these games, and sometimes it's just kind of hard, you know? To be perfectly honest, I've been playing a lot of my Quest. Uh, I've been playing a lot of VR games recently because I got a, uh, an Oculus Quest, and so I've been playing Half-Life Alex, which has been a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, then the other day they just announced a quest too. I'm like, damn you. <laughs> I'm like, why didn't I know I should have maybe just held out for a quest too, but I'm not sad about it. The quest uh, that I have here, original quest is it'll, it'll be, I think great to be able to handle these, these next, uh, quest two games for a little while here. So not really too worried about it. Yeah. Learning in 9LA is great, but like I said, yeah, there's definitely a, a lot to learn there and I still don't know all the things. So. All right, guys, uh, it's time. We're going to get into it, and we're going to play some Nine Lives Arena. we got to jump in. We're going to – this is PvP permadeath at its finest. But first, got to get into a disguise, and you know what that means. We'll be right back.
Yeah, man, it's Island Stash here today to take you into Nine Lives Arena. And we're going to show you all around the island, do some fishing, do some fighting. And uh, we're going to get into everything that Nine Lives Arena is all about. So <laughs> we're going we're going island status today. Hope you, <laughs> hope you guys like it. Let's do it. Let me see if I can fix this camera too. It's crazy how it's... Uh, How it's kind of like sketching out on the on the white color there, which is really weird. Oh, that's too far. Hmm. I gotta adjust my thing. I don't know what's going on here. Let me see if I if I turn the contrast up a bit. Yeah, it's weird. I gotta mess with this because you know there was some sort of issue before with this, and uh, now I don't know. For some reason, it was working great for a long time, and then I messed with some camera settings here, like about a week or so ago, and uh, now it's just it it doesn't seem to pick up things correctly. Like for some reason, white is just not really picking up, and I don't get it. Hmm. I think that's about as good as we're going to get right there, maybe. Well, that'll work for now. Yellow is not showing up so well, but everything else is, is doing okay. All right, let's do this. You guys ready? We're going to jump in Nine Lives Arena. We're going to show you around the island. We're going to do some fishing, some farming. We're going to get our Oogie up in up in here, and we're going to have some fun. I know, my white pasty skin. What can I do? <laughs> like I said, I, I, I'm not as pasty as it shows here. I'm actually probably a little bit darker, but like I said, I got I to jack with my camera a little bit here and adjust some of the settings because before it wasn't it wasn't like... It wasn't taking off all of this yellow and white, so I don't know what changed. I don't know what changed, man. All right, so here we are at Nine Lives Arena. We're going to log in, and we're in no nipples, please. <laughs> it's like, barely notice the worst coconuts. Never mind. Yeah. I do. I need, a, I need like a coconut drink, right? If I had a coconut drink, that might like, that might complete the whole thing. <laughs> all right, logging in. Pina coladas. I need me a pina colada right now, man. So uh, I was talking about this earlier. So I've, I've got my original character up to level 19. And then this character, Super Stash, was actually one that the team hooked me up with at one point. Uh, so I could try out some high level stuff. And then this is my newest character that I just started playing not too long ago. So uh, when I was talking about Viking Madness, this is my Viking character. So I've upgraded him. He's like he's all Viking doubt. So uh, usually it's Barbarian, but I've upgraded to Viking, and that's what we're gonna play today. So we're gonna level this guy up. We're gonna get the Oogie going, and uh, we're gonna show you some of the the different aspects here. So. Yeah, I know. I need to get the, the minion to be to bring me some drinks. Bring me all the drinks. I, I I would I would be probably a bad parent if I was like, hey, go make me a pina colada or a margarita, and she could do it and bring it in. Is that bad? That's probably bad. So like, here's my other guy sleeping, which I always thought was pretty cool. This is a pretty cool aspect of the game. Is that usually in, in games you don't see like your other characters like in, in represented in the game in any kind of way, you know? Like you you start off a game, you pick a character if you have multiple if you can have multiple characters in that game, right? Uh, but this one is kind of cool. It shows you your other characters like sleeping, and and you could change by just going on on these little buttons here, which is kind of interesting. So, I always thought that was that was a pretty cool feature. So here we are with our Viking stash. 
I still have nine lives. So, you know, we, we talked about some of the interesting features of this game, and the main feature of the game is that you, ha you build these characters, and the characters only have nine lives. So just like a cat, right? You're you're only you only got nine lives. So if I go into the main nine LA arena, uh, which is like the the main battle arena, and I lose, my belt will go from nine to eight. So uh, you know, in general, it, that's kind of one of the main things there is that you know I, I I may end up losing lives if I'm going in, but if you're in the training arena, no worries, right? So no worries if you're in the training arena. And that, so that's kind of how you level your character up. You can go in, you can train, you can fight in that arena without without losing any lives. But once you go to the big times, you're gonna lose lives there. So we're gonna jump in, yeah. So we're gonna jump in training right now and just just jump into a match. And then we're gonna show you all the other features like uh, oogies and fishing and all that good stuff. Summoning. I like this part too because it's like brutal beard. All right, so we got the uh, MKZ core coming at me. Come at me, bro. I haven't played this in a while. <laughs> Trying to fight around the rocks is hard. Ah, defeated. Good game, GG's there. <laughs> U U D D L L R L R A B select start. Hey Darth, thanks so much for scribing, buddy. And thank you so much for modding too. We got Darth the Riz, who is our, our official mod here for the Secret Agent Stash show. And you know one thing I've noticed actually, and I I thought I thought that this was not the case before, but when I'm pressing forward, I can't go to the left or right with the left or right keys anymore. I have to stop going forward with those, and I could have sworn you could do that before. Yeah, it's with a keyboard for sure. I'm always playing with a keyboard. You know, most of these games are, are all key. If you if I was with the controller, you'd see me like this. <laughs> but yeah, you know, one of the things I I could have sworn is it. Uh, when you when you were going pressing forward, you could strafe left or right. I, but I guess I was wrong. Let's go jump in another match real quick, and and we're gonna because I gotta warm up, man. I haven't played this game for a little while. This is this is my first match in um in a couple of months, in like two months. Yeah, it's W A S D. Yeah. So he's gonna probably shadow me here. Stamina man management is very crucial here. Ooh, nice, nice combo.
Look, I'm bleeding all over the place, guys. Don't put your sword away. What are you doing, you fool? <laughs> He's like, I'm just gonna mess with you. Nice. Well done. You know, so I've been trying to do the, the two, you know, everything I've done up until now has always been uh, one handed. So the reason why I made the Viking uh, is to, um, yeah, I should have healed myself for sure. I don't know why I wasn't doing it. Uh, so the the Viking, like I said, I wanted to try with the two handed uh, the two handed build because I don't see a lot of people doing it. So I think maybe that's because it's probably not the best when it comes to a game like this where it's very um, precision fighting. You know, it's not just button mashing. Uh, but I wanted to see how how a two handed or a one handed character with a shield, you know, was going to work out. Because I, I do a lot less damage, but um, it really just comes down to finding a vibe. So. All right, so we're going to go out. Woo! <laughs> Gear is definitely important in this game for sure, but it is a lot of skill. Uh, there's definitely a lot of skills involved. So uh, it, it is not just, uh, you know, gear. But gear, yeah, the gear definitely makes a big difference for sure. I mean, and I'm playing with, like, not very high-level gear either, so... All right, so oh, see there you go. Yeah, shield blocks 100% damage. So I just need to be blocking more is what is re really comes down to. So two hander parries just 80%. Yeah. So I just need to be blocking a lot more is what it comes down to really. So one of the one of the most integral parts of this game is fishing. So fishing is kind of the, the base way of how you power up your Ugi. And your Ugi is like the little guy over here in the, in the top right corner. You can see him there. He's level 10. Uh, and right now he's asleep. But Ugis don't run by themselves. They need something to eat while they're working. But the great thing about it, though, is that you can go fish. And then you give the Ugi fish. Oh, I missed that one. You give the Ugi fish, and that's how you power him for however long uh, you want him to be working. So uh, it's it can it's almost like an AFK. So while you're gone, you could power your Ugi up for you know a couple of hours with a bunch of fish that you catch, and he'll be collecting resources and, and and stuff while you're gone, leveling up. So when you get back, you could then get him to craft things for you with all the resources, or maybe you're you're putting it towards the skill shrine, which is how you level up your skills, um, or you're trying to get uh, extra rings in the ring shrine. Uh, and so, you know, it, it's it's a very uh, integral part of the game. So fishing is something you always have to be doing. Uh, and I haven't done any fishing today, so I got to get a couple of fish to get my oogie going. Yeah, so Dreadlord, thanks for joining us, man. And I was talking about that earlier. So one of the things here about this game is that... Uh, you, you, there's rare blueprints, and you can buy the blueprints off of the store. They've had multiple sales, and a bunch of them have sold out. So the, per, the people who have those blueprints are the only ones that can craft those weapons in game, and then they can go sell those weapons, right? Uh, they can go sell those weapons in the you know marketplace. So they can go to the engine marketplace, and they can sell those weapons. And if you go to the engine marketplace right now, there's a bunch of weapons for sale. So a lot of times that's the only way you can get some of these very unique weapons and items and some of the most powerful things too. But a lot of it comes down to obviously your crafting skill uh, and what tier your Ugi is at. So those things all kind of play a factor in there. Now, you know, the, the when it comes down to this game, like skill is, yeah, 90% skill, 10% items. Yeah, that, that's a great way of looking at it. So this game really is skill based. You're, you're, it's not really as much about the gear. It really does come down to your skill. I've beaten people who were, you know, had way better gear than I did. Uh, and it was just, hey, I, I was just, I, you know, fairly skilled or I was lucky in that time. But, uh, you know, having good gear and stuff like that, you know, obviously is something you want to try and achieve. But it doesn't mean that, you know, if you don't have great gear, you're never going to be able to beat anybody. You're not going to be successful or you can't level up or uh, anything like that. So, uh, Later Ninja, man, thanks so much for, for joining me, man. I appreciate the, the matches there. Good game on that one. And uh, see you next time, man. So I'm going to show you what Oogies are. So you can see the Oogie head. He's here up in the screen at the top right corner. You see he looks like a little, uh, like a little ogre. He's like a little mini cute ogre. 
And I'm gonna wake up my Oogie right now, but I gotta get him some food first. So he won't he won't do anything if if I don't feed him. And right now he's just sleeping. I gotta get that lazy bastard up and get him to work. Gotta put him to work here on the beach so we can get our island status going on. This is this is the best thing about it. That's why I'm island stash today. Because basically I get my Oogie to do the work for me, and I just sit on the island here on the beach, and I just I just sit back and and and, and just reap all the rewards. I get all the uh, the ore, I get all the wood, I get all the shells, and I turn it in, and uh, yeah, yeah, and then I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to do much. So my Oogie is like my little offline worker, and so whether I'm here playing or whether I'm offline, if I as long as I fed him enough, uh, I can I can keep him going for a bunch of times. So uh, you'll see what the interface looks like right now too. And the more you level your Oogie up, the longer you can feed him for, and the longer he's going to work by himself. So even if you're offline. I think the max is it eight hours, uh, guys. I think maybe it's eight hours. I don't remember the exact max, but there's a max of how long your Oogie has and how long he'll be able to sit there for offline or like do work while you're gone. Well, I gotta ruin that time. So not only can get can you get fish here while you're fishing, but you can also get things like runes too. Yeah, eight. So there he is. So say eight hours is max. I think I have my Oogie at like three hours right now. I think maybe it's three hours or two and a half hours. We'll, we'll go look at the pot. So basically, Oogie has his stew pot. And so you take the fish and you can put it in the stew. And then he'll come and he'll wake up and be like, oh, what do you want me to do? And so we're going to get him to do some stuff right now after we get this next fish here. And then we'll go back and fish some more because it takes a lot of fish. I got to keep fishing for a little while here to do it. Oh, I missed. Dang it. Yeah, those oogies are lazy, man. They don't do no work unless you got unless you have fish. So, and then just kind of talking about a couple things. So you guys can see here on the UI in the top left, uh, we have uh, three bars, right? So your green is your uh, like is your health, your blue is your magic ability, and then the yellow, uh, yellow orange is your stamina. And so you saw when I was playing another rune. Dang it! I need fish. I don't need runes. Uh, so one of the biggest things that I always find is stamina management in a match. So everything you're doing, uh, you know, uses stamina, except for if you're casting a spell, obviously. But everything else you're doing, you're, when you're running, when you're rolling, when you're kicking, when you're swinging, uh, all those things require stamina to do. Uh, and then all the, the special moves and stuff like that, too. So uh, they all require stamina. And uh, so the, stamina management is a pretty is a pretty big aspect of the game. So you always have to be very uh, mindful of what you, where your stamina is at with your with your uh, against your opponent. Here on the beach, you can see just running like shh, I jump, stamina's gone. Jumping takes a lot of stamina. All right, so here we are. So look, here's my lazy Oogie, and uh, you know he's just sleeping right now. I'm gonna wake him. I gotta wake his ass up. But before I do that. Yeah, so that's a good point, uh, Dredd. So yeah, like Dredd was saying, so the stamina management is a lot like uh, the Souls day games, like Dark Souls. You know, you, you, you can't just butt mash and like... You know, you really have to be very thoughtful about each movement. Okay, so you can see right now my pot right here. I can have a maximum of 2 hours and 45 minutes stored in my pot. So I can load my pot with fish, which I'm going to do. So you can see a small fish, your helper would be happy to consume this item. So I add them to the pot and see six fish gives me one hour. And then I got a big fish and that gives me 15 more minutes and I got an uncommon fish and that gives me like another 20 minutes. So now I'm done. So now Oogie will wake up and he'll do things. I just gotta go over here, I hail him. See now he's up and he's like, ah! <laughs> like I said, the Oogies are my favorite part of the, of the game for sure. I can't wait to uh, get my Oogie outfitted in his coronavirus suit. I got like a, a red coronavirus suit when they did that sale here not too long ago. Uh, I'm going to throw him in that thing. Ooh, see, I want to build a fishing pier. How do I build a fishing pier? These are all locked. I want to be able to build a fishing pier or go treasure hunting. Is that is that with the new update that's coming? Is that coming with like uh, the new uh, .6, I think, is what is what's coming next? Or these things that I could do right now. It's point six. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So point six, version point six. Yeah, you can't do it yet, but that's why they're locked. But they're gonna they're gonna have some new features coming, and there's like a whole new new like uh uh you know overhaul of the beach from what I saw. A lot of cool things coming. So they're you know the team here is is actively developing this. They come up with new updates fairly often, 
And, you know, this game is in closed alpha right now. So uh, if you want to go pick up the game, you can. You just have to go to their store and get Founder uh, Founders Pack. I think it's Founders Pack 3 through 7. And uh, then you can actually get closed al uh, alpha access. So you, you can do that. So how about building a tiki bar? I know, right? What about a, a tiki bar so Oogie can just hang out or I can hang out and get some drinks and... and and, and just uh, invite all my nine LA uh, homies over here. So that's the one thing that you do notice is that you don't see any of the people hanging around, like you have your own private beach. It's not like there's other people on this on, on this beach, uh, which is it, a little bit different. So it, it's very solitary until you're out actually fighting in the arena. Okay, so we're gonna go over the Oogie options. So there's a couple things. So you can gather items for the different shrines. So right now you have your skill shrine, which is how you level up your skills and a couple of other things. So that's how I got changed. That's why I changed myself into being a barbarian because you always start off as a barbarian and I changed my bloodline to being a Viking. I thought the Viking looked pretty cool. I wanted to just try something different from what I had done before. So I had my Ugi uh, leveling up on the skill shrine. There's also the ring shrine, so you can you can gather items to get rings too. And that's part of what you have in your equipment. I'm going to show you your equipment here after we get our Ugi going. Uh, then you can also have your Ugi craft something. So this is how you do all of your crafting. Your, your Ugi actually does all the work. Once again, like I said, so you just kind of direct him of what you want, and you know this is you, you, you can you can get blueprints, right? So you can buy blueprints and you can get them here. Uh, I had a friend give me a blueprint uh, not too long ago on a stream, and that's how I made that cool moon dagger, like one-handed uh, uh, sword. So. So yeah, so you get your Ugi doing all the crafting and stuff for you. He, he's yeah, I wouldn't say I won't say slave. He's like your helper. He wants to work for you. He does it, you know, out of the kindness of your heart because that's what he's here for. You know, he, he, he loves helping you to be able to be a better uh, fighter in the arena. That's like, that's like his life's goal. And so he's, he's all, he's, that's, 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 his, that's what he wants. That's what makes him happy. Look at him right now. He looks happy and ready to go. So yeah, so you can craft, you can get him to do things for the, the two different shrines. No mo no stashman, and we call him Oogie, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then you can also get him to do uh, things like uh, mine for ore or chop wood. And so these two resources are different. So if he's gathering items for the ring shrine, he's just on the beach getting shells mostly. Uh, and, and so then there's other items you can gather, which is mine for ore. And you need the ore for crafting, right? As well as you need wood for crafting too, because you got to keep the furnaces going. So the furnaces require some wood, and then you need ore for making the weapons. So... You can see right now, like, you know, he's got some of these resources in his bag. He's got eight gold and 11 uh, iron pieces. Right now, we're gonna we're just gonna set him out for doing skill sh uh, shrines. And so you'll see, like, he's just gonna go and see, he's gotta go to the pot and get his food. He's stirring the pot. <laughs> Getting his stir on. And there we go. Now he's off. And you'll see, like, he oop, he's gonna go and I'm gonna follow him so you guys can see what he's doing. And then we're gonna start the first giveaway. So I got I got some smaller giveaways today, guys, uh, because once you know, we talked about this, you know, the fees on Ethereum right now are just crushing everybody. So sending out items, and there's people who have actually hit me up and saying, hey, you know, I was supposed to get this item from the team, and they haven't sent it, and like, so a lot of this stuff is just kind of on hold at the moment uh, because the fees are just incredibly crazy. Look at this fish; he's just floundering right here. But yeah, my Ugi, see, he's out there, and he's gonna start picking up shells and stuff. And you can see, like, he got a bone. He's gonna start picking things up. Now he's got a, uh, he's, he picked up that fish. He's gonna go around and get all the things. Yeah, yeah, as he levels up, he can hold, hold more stuff. So yeah, like I said, the, the more your Oogie levels up, the more he gets of everything. So he can hold more stuff. He, he's gonna mine, he's gonna uh, do better bla in blacksmithing. So you level him up, he's you know gets gonna get better stats on his weapons and armor that he's crafting for you. I'll make sure to time out Icy Flames right before the giveaway, right? And But see, I can still go on the beach and grab things too. So you can see, like, I'll run around and just kind of like... Uh, the best things to grab are like the Nautilus shells and the conch shells. That's why I always try and get those ones. Because your bag fills up fast too. See, oh, my bag's too full. Oh, no, it said something go fishing. I gotta go fishing for something, is what it was saying. Oh, no, it is too full for clamshells. So then you'll see, like, uh, once I have some stuff... Wanna take that to arena? I'll take that to the, to the arena. 
You in my game now. Oh, Icy Flames getting all buff on there. All right, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, and, and you know, with, with some of these things, it is kind of hard, you know, to be able to send out like these items that are worth a dollar and it takes $10 to send them. So it's like 15 bucks are coming out of pocket. So this is a skill shrine. You can see right now, uh, I have this much uh, in the shrine right now. I got to get here to be able to unlock the next thing. Oh, Oogie, push me off. What are you doing, Oogie? Right. Well, you we can see he leveled it up a little bit there, and I'm going to throw... And you can see, like, when I put it in there, it, like, just inches a little bit. Just a little inch. Nautiluses are a little bit better, and conch shells are a little bit better. I'm going to throw the bone in, too. We don't need the bone. So this is this this is the skill shrine. So that's how we level up the the different skills and some other stuff too. Not just skills, but also how to like change bloodlines and change things like that. Yeah, Ugi's like get out of my way, man. And this is the uh, ring shrine right here. So you can see like this is where you get ring stuff. I'm not exactly sure how the ring shrine actually works. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I think you have to have a ring and put it in here, and then it, ring, it like levels up the ring. Is that right? So I think you already have to have a ring, and you can level it up by sticking it in here. I think I think that's how you do it. I'm, I'm I'm a little bit still confused on the ring shrine. And then there's this guy. I don't even know what the hell this guy does, but he glows when I get close to him. I think it's a secret. I think he's not being unlocked. No, just add an item. Oh, okay. I guess I just haven't achieved an exterior. Like, yeah, mine is almost full. I guess it's like so close that. Let me see if that does it. No, that didn't do it. I'll have to get my, I'll have to get some more items. Yeah, so that's what I thought. So you do get a ring, you just have to get to the point where it's, it's there. So let me see if I can go collect a few more items and unlock this ring for you guys right now so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I was like, oh man, it, it looked like it was full and then nothing was there. And I was like, come on, man. Maybe I, maybe I didn't understand how it worked, but that's why I thought how it worked. You just keep putting, you know, these random things in there and and you can put uh, you can put ore and you can put bones and you can put pretty much every resource in the game uh, into the the shrines and you get points for them. I tend not to put my my medals as much, but they they do get you more. So your your medals are much more valuable uh, when they're going into the skill shrines or, or ring shrines. Uh, all the items in game, uh, they're not necessarily no, not all the items are are uh, off chain. So the materials are off chain, yes, but the actual items you craft. Yeah, those items you can go and you can they're on chain so you can go and sell them in the marketplace that's that's what i was saying that's the whole point of being able to have um you know uh, these blueprints that you buy and you may be the exclusive person with that blueprint and so you're the only one that could go sell that that uh, thing that you crafted so you craft it here in the game which makes it there and then you can uh, essentially send it to your wallet and then you can go and uh, sell it in the marketplace Boom! There we go. Okay, I, I was just—I was very close. <laughs> so I got a ring of the tiger. That's pretty good. Physical crit plus three percent. Nice. Yeah, yeah. So, so right. What, what? Uh, you know, Dreadwolf was saying—they're they're not necessarily on there. Oogies and blueprints are, but we're in closed alpha. But essentially, that's how it's going to work. Uh, if you guys are going to be playing the game here in long term. All right. So let's do. I need to do a little bit more fishing. Well, Oogie's good for now. Oogie's good for now. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. You, you gotta mint the actual items yourself on, on the chain. So this is kind of like our home base here. I want to show you like a little, like, here's our little training dummy. Infinite Crypto, what's up, man? Did I grab it? Did you not? Didn't you ask me that question last time? Are, are you just trying to promote in, Nvidia's new cards? <laughs> uh, I didn't because I have a 2070 Super that I, I just built my rig here earlier this year. So I have a 2070 Super in there, which so I, I don't I don't really think I'm gonna need much more beyond that for a while, to be perfectly honest. Oh, it wasn't you? It was somebody else, then, man. Last stream, somebody else asked me that too. Roll, smash, roll, roll, smash, roll, smash. No chance in Canada. Yeah, that sucks. So here is the, this is the forge. So what we do essentially here is, uh, you know, this is what you have to have wood for. And you can see right now I have no wood. 
So after a little while here and Oogie's doing his thing, I'm going to go get him to do some wood, actually, because that's what we need. We need some wood to do some crafting because I want to melt these raw materials I have. So you can see right now I have raw gold and I have raw iron ore. So we got to go find the Oogie out here and then tell him, hey, man, let's go do some wood instead. Where are you, Oogie? I don't see him. Sometimes I can't find his ass. He's here somewhere though. Roaming around on the beach. Oh, there he is. He's way on the other side. <laughs> Any hidden gem coins that I, I'm in. Um, I mean, nothing I haven't talked about recently on like, if you go look at my, uh, I'm going to be uploading some of my, my recent theta streams. And I've definitely talked about some stuff there. All right, go chop some wood, Ogie. Drop that stuff off and go get me some wood. And see, like, now he's going to go on in the, into the jungle, start chopping trees. Here's the Oogie leaderboard. Wow. Some of these guys got their Oogies up super high level. That's crazy. You can see I am down here. <laughs> Very close to the bottom. Not all the way at the bottom, though. Not all the way at the bottom. Oh, wait. I guess maybe I need to rename my Oogie. A price must be paid for great power. Uh, this game is not free to play, so you do have to go get a Founders Pack to play right now. It's in closed alpha. So this is not a released game yet. It is in closed alpha state, so if you want to play the game, you have to go to the website and download one of the Founders Packs. I think it's founder pack three through seven or something is it gives you access to the actual game uh, i think they're and they're only like 40 i think they're only like 40 bucks so it's not like that's super expensive wait so how do i rename my oogie oh i can re can i do it right here because see i have other oogies but i thought i could but maybe there's a way to rename him Uh, is, is it NFT pack? No, it's just, uh, yeah, I think you do, you may get some extra things with it. Yeah, they come with rare NFTs, seven without, yeah. So th there's some that come with different NFTs, so there's different packages, you just have to go look at it. Uh, but you can go to the, the a, 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 uh, if you want to toss in the, uh, Riz, if you want to toss in the link to Nine Lives Arena, the website, that'd be great, man, so people can go check out the Founders packages there. So how do I rename my Oogie to not Oogie? Is there a way to do it? Because I have several Oogies, but uh, I don't know how to rename this one. How do I rename him? I want to call him something different. You guys let me know how to rename my Oogie. I did click the name. I'm clicking on the name. It doesn't work. In the sheet. Oh, okay. See, yeah, I didn't realize it was up there. I'm all clicking down here. I'm like, oh, it makes sense. It would be down here. Oh, okay. We're going to name our Oogie Booger. <laughs> I got it now. I got it. I got it. Dang it, Infinite Crypto, you got to get here sooner. We've already talked about this, about how this this ties into blockchain. So uh, the, the basically how it works here is that you, you buy blueprints that are exclusive blueprints, and that allows you to craft certain weapons in the game, and then you can sell those weapons uh, in, the, in the store. So uh, the weapons themselves are on-chain items. And so, yeah, so Red, Dread is there. So you have rare blueprints. They allow you to make items and skins for other players. So it's it, you, it's it's through the crafting system. So you can make weapons and armors and shields and things like that. And then you can go sell them in the marketplace. And those are the, the actual uh, uh, blockchain-based items. Like, there's my Ubi. He's, he's getting the wood. Get that wood. Let's see if we got some wood now. Nope. Where's the wood? <laughs> oh, Kyle! I didn't know that was your screen name, dude. That's cool. I forgot. I know you've been. I know. I know you've been in chat here a couple times before, man. So I appreciate you uh, joining us today. 
yeah so the, so and there's a whole marketplace for them obviously right now the marketplace is, is hurting a little bit i would say uh because there's just not uh there's just not um you know a, a, a lot of people wanting to trade because of the fees Oh yeah, and Oogies. Oogies are also the NFT. So the little Oogie guy, you can get different Oogies of different rarities uh, and 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 you know scarcities and like that. So so they have a uh, vast genetics on what they can look like, what they can do, and uh, like I was showing you earlier, I have a couple Oogies. I have three Oogies. So I have the basic Oogie, who's which is the one you just get, and then I have two other Oogies. I have like a rare and maybe like a legendary one. I think it is so. All right, so right here uh, in this part of the game, this is where you go to uh, do all of your uh, skills. So the skill book or your spell book uh, allows you to upgrade your, your points. So you can see right now I have uh, five points that I could allocate. And this is how you level up your skills. So you can see right now I have these different skills. So I have heal, which I didn't even use the last two matches. I should have. And I have lightning strike. I have blink which teleports me and then I have magic reflect and I have charge. Uh, and then I have shield bash too. Shield bash I can, uh, is, is pretty cool too. I need to, I need to get shield bash set up. I think I have it set up on a, on a hotkey though. Yeah, I should be leveling my blockchain Oogie for sure. That's a good point. We'll, 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 do, we'll go take out our blockchain Oogie. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I should be leveling the blockchain one, of course. So here's the second thing, and so this is uh, this is essentially your bank and your armory. So this shows everything you already have and all of your stuff you can equip. Yes, you'll be able to breed your oogies together soon. So that is on the roadmap, and, and so there, there's a lot of cool aspects. Like I said, this is still in closed alpha. So you can see right now, I got my guy outfitted with the uh, blue mage headband, which gives me plus five intelligence, plus five uh, magic resist. Physical crit and magic crit plus one. Then I just have a basic weapon belt, uh, basic barbarian arm guards, and starter boots. I, got, I need better boots. And then you can see I'm, I have this dark moon blade, uh, and so it's a little bit of a better blade than like a starter blade with just a basic Viking shield. Now we don't have any rings, and so here's my first ring, Ring of the Tiger. I can stick it here in my ring slot, ready to go. And then I have some other stuff. Like I have this wooden staff, but I don't do. I'm not as much as a magic user. Um, and I have a couple other things. So I have a couple of dark moon blades that I crafted that I didn't get uh, good stats on. As good as stats, so you can see they're a little bit different. So this one only has uh, plus 40 base strength, plus one strength bonus. But this one also got magic crit plus one. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, yeah, this is Ethereum. So this game is Ethereum based. Uh, so it's an engine based game. All right, and finally here is. Yeah, you definitely don't need to know anything about blockchain to play this game. So you just need to be able to get that founders kit on the website and that'll allow you access to the actual game. And you can download it, um, you know, everything else in the game. It, you know, you can say it's, it's 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 a hybrid game in that case. You know, not every and that's what we're going to see here, guys. We're, you know, I don't think we're ever really going to see most games being fully on chain unless they're very simple games, maybe like, uh, you know, basic uh, dice games or things like that. Uh, you know, that th those are the things we'll probably see. But yeah, I think having a hybrid system like this makes a lot of sense, especially if, with, with a game that has crafting. I think crafting, it makes a lot of sense here. So you can see I got, I, I've, I've stored up quite a bit of resources. I got a bunch of iron ingots, gold ingots, and some, some leathers and stuff that I already have uh, uh, here. And so, um, you know, I, I can make some things, but they're not super awesome, like, you know, starter boots, head stuff. So I have Viking helmet, barbarian headband. I wish I could do some better legs, but all I got is starter. Oh, I got red mage. I could do red mage ones. So we'll probably have him come. I'll do some red mage stuff here uh, later when he gets some. Some uh, I got to get him to to collect a little bit more wood first. But this is where you go to do all of your blacksmithing. Yeah, and so you know, when we talk about play to earn aspects, you know. You can play this game and, and you know, you're, you're just doing what you normally would do in the game to try and, like, you know, build weapons and build armor or craft weapons and armor and build up your character. But then, you know, maybe you, you crafted something really awesome. You're like, oh, my gosh, this is a really cool thing. or got really great stats. Uh, you could, yeah, it does give you an opportunity to say to be able to, to, to you know, go towards that blockchain area and, and learn a little bit more about it. So... Not required to like know a bunch of things about wallets or things like that uh, until you really get to that point. 
So it doesn't look like anybody's on in the arena right now, but I want to see it go over here and show you guys the rest of the stuff. So this is the, the training arena we're in right now. And this is where the main arena uh, is at. So this is where you go to uh, actually battle people who you're going to die against, like actually lose one of your lives. And so we talked about earlier, like nine lives arena, my character, this guy, he only has nine lives. So I haven't lost any because I haven't been battling anybody in the actual arena. But if I was uh, and I lost, that belt would go down from nine to eight. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole point here when it comes to, to in-game items. You know, I'm tired of playing games where I put all this time into grinding these amazing items or getting really lucky in crafting scenarios, but then uh, I don't get to do shit with them. I, you know, they, they don't have built-in marketplaces. I don't actually own those items. But with blockchain gaming uh, like this and integrated into, into really sweet games, you can do that. You can do that. This is the Hall of Heroes, Hall of Champions. I'll go step on a pedestal. You can see what that means. Sword and shield. See, I, I mean, I changed him to the sword and shield looking one now. <laughs> so there's a lot of cool little things you can explore in here, too. So here, this is the this is the leaderboard. So these are the top uh, ranked players right now. Yeah. So there's a whole system. Like once you die, like you go to a spiritual warrior, and then you can get back if you get a bunch uh, enough wins, and and then you can become immortal at a certain point. And then there's shadow warriors too. So it goes pretty in depth. It's not like your I mean your character is not fully lost necessarily. Uh, there are ways to kind of come back. Yeah. Now you have to fight to get your lives back. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see that this is where you go if you want to battle uh, for actual lives. So you can see that these are the top players right now. And I played a, 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 against a, quite a few of these and they've, they've all kicked my ass. So please see here it is. So please be aware the moment you step into this arena, your character's gear will be spellbound, which means it cannot be changed. And uh, along with anything in your backpack, you'll be lost on final death. So we're not going to do it because there's really, I don't think anyone's here right now, but I just want to show you what it looks like. Uh, okay, so right now we're gonna go and we're gonna start a giveaway here and the first giveaway we're gonna we're doing is a little bit of a smaller giveaway today But it's for a go Pepe pack. So these go Pepe cars just launched today and I did a pack opening I did a pack opening for them on my YouTube. So if you guys want to check out more about that you can I'm gonna give away a pack right now. So we're gonna go back to headquarters and we're gonna go and Start this giveaway. So this is for one standard go Pepe pack and you know this is you know they're 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 like uh if you guys know Pepe the the meme internet meme the frog dude you know that that's what this is all about and uh, all you gotta do is put exclamation secret into the chat there and you'll be able to uh, be able to win this pack and they're they're kind of fun cards like they they kind of make fun of like popular personalities uh, and what's going on there actually I'll show you guys uh, what it looks like real quick just so you guys can see. Just so you guys got an idea of what they are, because you may not have uh, caught my <laughs> exclamation oogie. I'll do that next, CZB. Yeah, that's actually good. I, I, I didn't I didn't change the exclamation thing, but uh, I should change it for the next one. So here's here's the uh, Go Pepe site, and you can see here's what the cards look like. So we got a bunch of them here, and you can see uh, if you know somebody's like here's Fresh Prince Pepe. Uh, here's P alone. I'll go to my inventory and I can show you a couple more here. But here's Relon, right? So I like Elon Musk. So they have him as a Pepe character. They got uh, they got Gene Simmons from Kiss as a Pepe character. They have DJ uh, they got Marshmallow as a, as a Pepe character. Uh, here's uh, Zuckerberg as a Pepe. <laughs> so they're kind of fun. Uh, they're kind of interesting. I don't know. What do you guys think about these? Let me know if you guys think these are stupid or, or what it is. MKZ, you're back, buddy. I thought you were going to sleep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does look more like Urkel, right? Yeah, he looks a little like Urkel Pepe. Yeah. Okay, so we got that giveaway going. We're going to jump back in the arena. Uh, go ahead and print. Yeah, they have the Greta. Yeah, there's a couple of different ones. So uh, if you guys are watching my stream today on YouTube, I did it on YouTube instead of Theta. I don't know why. I, I, I just like automatically went to YouTube. I'm doing all my crypto live streams on Theta now. And I just kind of forgot that that's what I was doing. Sorry. 
Uh, but we're going to jump back to the arena. Alright, so someone's in training, so we're going to go back to the training arena and we're going to go do some more fighting. While our Oogie's collecting some wood. And then I, there's a couple areas, there's a couple other areas here that I want to show you guys uh, that are kind of cool inside this, uh, inside this place. Oops. This is how I move around fast. <laughs> I think we're probably going to end up playing Brutal Beard again here. I'm waiting for a match. Stash wants to get his ass kicked. I do like the look of, of the Viking here. It's pretty cool. He's got the, the sweet tattoo and he's got like the tribal the tiger skin. PC shut down. Oh, no, we're playing against Atlan. All right, let's do this. Okay, there we go. I forget which one was which. Frogged! No! <laughs> I was frogged to death. I almost frogged to death. Stone skinned me. I'm not going out that easy. Good game on that one. He's like, Shh. Oogie's like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> See, so and I think he's a spirit uh, warrior too. I think he's in, that's why he's all spirited like this. So I got a little bit better. I, you know, like it, it, it definitely it comes down to skill. You know, it's really about, uh, about kind of figuring out your opponent and how they're going to be moving around and, you know, some of the things you got going on. See if we can get another match going here. And as you guys can see, my Oogie's just getting, he's just getting more wood. You know, he just, he's out there. I still got an hour uh, of, of time left on my Oogie. And he'll just, uh, he'll just, uh, you know. Keep doing it. He just until his backpack's full, he can do thirty right now. Uh, so after this match, we'll see. We're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go change out our oogies because I want you right. Dread was right. I should be having my blockchain oogie going. <clears throat> He's like starting up. You you close your PC down and everything. Now you're gonna jump back in. I love it though, man. That's awesome. Oh, Morlock's jumping on. So all the high level guys are jumping on to kick my butt. Oh, he moved. Where'd he go? That like night step move, it always gets me. Oh no, I did it the wrong time. Come on. Oh, frogged, frogged to death. Look at he's just easy gonna come and smash. 
<laughs> Sleep is for the weak. I love it. Frog death. <laughs> oh, I leveled up. That's cool. I'm leveling up. See, like I said, this is a this is a new. Yeah, I got pepade. <laughs> exactly, dude. That's the new. I got pepade, man. I got pepade. Uh, so we still have the uh, little giveaway going on for those that the pack a pack of uh, Pepe cards. So go ahead and make sure you guys uh, do exclamation agent or or is it exclamation secret? I think. Doing? I don't even know what that spell is. Oh, he's sucking my stamina away. What is what's going on here? See, that's the one spell I don't have. That's like one of the most popular spells, it seems. I finally got one! Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Good game, man. <laughs> Good game, uh, MKZ. Brutal beard. So, and you can see when you win, you get some items, too. So, I didn't even see what I got that time, but, uh... There, you know, you maybe you should have gone to sleep, man. You should have gone to sleep. Stash got one in on you. <laughs> All right, let's do another match since we got some people. All right, so the raffle is closed. Got trouble with that new build. Oh yeah, I mean, like I said, I that's what I'm, I'm working on a new one too. So, stash, put them back in bed, put them in the ground. I gotta, I gotta, you guys gotta give me some some wins here, right? Like, come on, you know, I'm not that bad, but I'm not that good either. But you can see, like, it's it's definitely a lot more strategy and like really trying to get a handle on uh. Man, he really, that was a really great, you just smashed the hell out of me right there. Come back here. See, those teleport moves are always like some of the best moves because like moving around really fast in this game is hard so teleporting makes the most sense ah got me good one <laughs> had to come in and uh, back in and show the dominance there had to show that dominance <laughs> I'm gonna do FF from now on. No one knows what that means, but it'll be funny. All right, so I'm gonna go back out real quick and I'm gonna get my other Oogie to start doing some work. Final last last. <laughs> Actually, I'm, uh, let's, go, let's go draw the winner for the giveaway. 
back to headquarters. So we always draw our winners here at headquarters, and then we're going to do the giveaway. So we only got a couple people in the giveaway, so I'm going to pick a winner right now. Boop -a doop And the winner, Darth Riz. Grats, man. I'll send you that Go Pepe pack. Just uh, hit me up on Discord or on uh, on Telegram or Twitter, uh, and I'll get you that pack. And then we're going to start one more giveaway here for a Secret Agent Stash uh, Agent's Disguise Kit. An Agent's Disguise Kit. This is, this is an NFT that I created um that um is just a, it's just like a fun nft that kind of represents what's going on here so if you're if you're one of my agents you can use this secret agent disguise kit right to be able to uh get in disguises just like my, me all right so let's start the giveaway all you gotta do is put exclamation oogie into the chat that's three o's o o o g y o o o g y <laughs> And I'm giving away a Secret Agents uh, Disguise Kit. Agents Disguise Kit. It's one of my my NFTs that I created myself. And uh, it's actually... Oh, wait. No, we're going to go change our Oogies out real quick. It's pretty cool. Uh, some of you guys have it. And it's definitely something that goes to all of my uh, Crypto Stash Founders token holders. Although I haven't been able to airdrop it to everybody because, like I said, the fees on Ethereum have just been insane. And the last time I checked to go do it when fees were low, it was still like $120 to send it to the 60 uh, people that hold my founder's token. So, kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? Okay, so Booger's out there doing it. Uh, this is Uncommon and then Rare. We're going to get our Rare Oogie out here. And let's change his name. What should we call this guy? Hmm. You gotta do, it's three O's. It's exclamation O-O-O-G-Y. So you gotta do Oogie in there. We're gonna call this guy Slushy. All right, let's bring Slushy out. Where you at, Slushy? Oh, you guys don't see the game, yeah. So we're, we're, I'm gonna go back here and I'll show you. I brought, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing Slushy out, and here's Slushy. So we just, I just renamed him to Slushy. Now I'm, I'm not sure how it works when you already have one guy out. And then you gotta have another, you gotta bring another win. So now he's hungry and he wants food. So now I gotta do some more, see now I gotta do some more um, fishing because otherwise he's not gonna do any work. Let's go fish. Yeah, I mean I can only have one active at a time, but I, uh, and so I've already fed the other Oogie unfortunately. So he's, he's, he's ready to eat, he's ready to work, but this one isn't so. I'm gonna see if I can level this guy up and get him out so you guys can see what he looks like. So we'll get a couple fish here just just uh, so we can feed him. Feed the new Oogie. And this guy's a rare, so Slushy, the guy, he's all crazy looking, he's a rare Oogie. You know, I would love to, uh, hopefully up in the top right corner where you see the Oogie face, it'll look like your rare Oogie. Like, I want it to look like the Oogie that, that you're using, I think that'd be fun. So I can have Slushy's face up there in the right-hand corner. Yeah, see there you go. Later in a new, in a future update, we will see our Oogies in the top right too. So it'll be the actual Oogie you have. And then you'll be able to dress Oogies and put them in costumes and stuff too, which would be really, really fun too. Like I said, I, I like that aspect of the game because it's kind of it's it's kind of anti to what you would see in most of uh, like fighting PvP type of games. I love the fact that they kind of have combined RPG elements here with you know a fighting game, which you don't normally see. A lot of times, it's just, you, you know you're 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 not. It's not this kind of battle arena style. It doesn't really necessarily work that way, you know. Yeah, so there you go, and then in the upcoming update, you'll be able to dress your Oogies.
Waiting for a bite. I think we get one more fish here and then... So like I said, once again, fishing is, is pretty integral to the game. You gotta fish. Now, fishing is not the most interesting thing right now. It's very basic, but I'm sure they're gonna expand on the fishing and the fishing will be a lot more robust. Uh, but right now, yeah, like it, it, it's it's a very important part. You you, you can't uh, you can't um, you know get your oogie working without fish. So gotta feed gotta feed the little monster. Got to feed the monster man. Yeah, man. So if you guys don't know, uh, maybe some of you guys who follow me, I got back from I was in Jamaica for two weeks uh, in August, so end of August, which is why there were no secret agent stash uh, live streams or anything going on the end of August. Uh, is because I was in Jamaica with my girlfriend and, uh, oh yeah, see, there he is. There's our Oogie. I was in Jamaica and that's where I made this hat. I actually made this hat in Jamaica, guys. This is an I, this is a, a, a legit island stash hat because I made this in Jamaica when I was there. I, I took a hat weaving uh, a class and it was like right on the beach, which was pretty cool. So right at the, at the resort I was staying at was on the most beautiful beach in Jamaica, seven mile beach in Negril. And uh, yeah, so and there's a bunch of things to do there, which is great. And so I, I made this hat uh, in a in a hat weaving class right on the white sand beaches, right there, man. It was, so it was pretty awesome. So I actually, this is I'm proud of this hat. This is not just something I picked up, but I actually made this hat, and the guy there was all showing us how to do it, and it was a lot of fun. So Island Stash is legit. And if you guys are ever thinking about going to places like that, like Jamaica and the Caribbean, it's totally worth every penny that you pay for it. And, and it's actually pretty affordable, so. The hat came out saying, yeah, look, look, she doesn't, my, my, my girlfriend, Christy, she's always in chat, but she doesn't say anything until there's a troll moment. She'll, she'll, she doesn't interact until there's some time that she can troll me, and then she then makes a comment. So she says the hat definitely came out better than the basket. And what she means by that what she means by that is that uh, is that uh, we I, we also did basket weaving too, and so I was I, when it was my turn to weave the basket, I messed up on some of the weaving things and it came out a little funky and whatever. So I was working, <laughs> and so so yeah, I, I messed up a little bit on the weaving of the basket there, and and then I'm I'm blamed now forever. It still looks good. The basket still is legit, but yeah, the hat definitely came out better than the basket. I'm proud of this hat. I love it. I wore and I wore this hat. It's it is unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I like that one, P. Well, that's good, man. Okay, let's go see if we can sit here in the training arena and see if we can get some people to come and hang out and train with us real quick. So last chance to put in uh, exclamation oogie before the, the the raffle's over. I'm giving away one of my own, my limited edition Agents Disguise Kit NFTs. And uh, it, it's actually pretty cool. It's a, a couple of people have it, so definitely a lot of fun. If you guys don't have it, man, you should be getting one of them Agents Disguise Kits so you can be an official agent. You guys are all my agents, so if you're here hanging out with me every time, like we got uh, stashers that are here every time, agents that are here every time. Icy Flames is always here. Darth is always here. P-Wow is always here with theirs. Jasper's here uh, quite often, almost always here. CZB's a, a, a new agent that has been here hanging out with us, and hopefully MKZ uh, comes back and hangs out with us. Infinite Crypto, my buddy uh, BTC Kyle, uh, who I game with sometimes we play we play some uh, some uh, uh, Call of Duty and stuff so appreciate appreciate it appreciate it. yeah JYT man he he's been here a lot too uh, you know sometimes not all the agents can make it but that's okay that's okay man that's okay I want to go look at something because I have hotkeys set for uh, my character and I think that okay I I, I I was forgetting which one was which. Surprise. All right, let's do this, Surprise.
Roll away, roll away! <laughs> oh no, I'm frog, I'm frog death again. Hanging on for dear life here. Oh no, no! Oh, he got me right when I was about to cast that spell. There we go, frog death again. <laughs> frog death is always one of the ones I end up with, huh? I'm hanging on by a thread, guys, by a thread. Are you guys proud of me? Oh, he got me, finally. Good, good match, though, that was a good match. See, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep doing FF. <laughs> People are like, what is FF? I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Going back in, you know it. We're gonna do a couple more fights here because we gotta wait, oh, the raffle's closed. So raffle's closed after this fight, we'll go and we'll go draw. Oh, stash killer's here. Stash killer's here. <laughs> Yeah, he is the stash killer. Look at, look at, you, you know who that is, guys. You know exactly who that is right there, which is the stash killer. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep putting FF and people, they won't know what it is, but I know what it means. I'm not gonna tell you guys what, I, what, I, what I've come up with what FF means. All right, so I want to jump and do a couple more battles, but I want to I want to actually go and uh, draw this giveaway real quick. Let's do it. We got five people in the giveaway. It's funny how there's always like only five people in the giveaway, and then there's like eleven or twelve people in chat. So, all right, this is for a secret agent stash agents disguise kit NFT, and the winner MKZ Core. Congratulations, Brutal Beard. You are the winner. Uh, just hit me up in Discord, uh, and you can hit me up in Discord, or you can hit me up on Twitter or whatever is convenient for you, but hit me up so I can get you guys your prize. Back to the arena. See, hey, it, it was actually worth it for you to stay up now. You won the prize for today. You won one of the prizes. <laughs> totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah, go get some sleep now, man. You you won. 
This is this is a triumphant day for you. You beat me in the in the arena multiple times. And now you're an official agent with your agent's disguise kit. You got to be coming back. Hopefully you'll be here uh, next week. I'm here every week. I do this every Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. So the same time, the same day every week. And I'm always here. I'm here. I know it's super late. As I'm saying, I have a lot of uh, people who, who follow me around the globe. So, you know, sometimes it's really hard for them to, to get in on some of these things because it's, it's really late their time. But uh, I do appreciate everyone who does. Ice me. Whoa. Ah, man. Yeah, as you guys can see, man, skill the skill is pretty big here. All right, good. Thanks, uh, MKZ, man. Thanks for hanging out, Brutal Beard, and doing it. Good night, final version. <laughs> but you know, the good thing is like, I'm, I'm leveling up every time I'm playing here. So I'm only level nine, you know, I'm definitely not, uh, I'm definitely not a high level character here. See, like, this guy has combos just like smashing on me. Oh! Yeah, I'm just not being able to get nothing going on. just toying with me now. Ah. Yep, toying with me. <laughs> yep, Oogie's like, mm -mm. All right, so where's our Oogie at? So he is, uh, he's just dropping off. He still has about 30 minutes of time on, on his stuff. So, um, and then we have plenty of wood and stuff now. So I'm actually, I'm gonna bring out, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over here and we're gonna bring him over here and we're gonna get him to craft some stuff uh, before we sign off. Let's go see where he's at. Cause he's dropping off right now. Is he here? No. Where's my Oogie? Oh, now he's coming to the beach. Slushy. Slushy the Oogie. Where are you, man? You'd think with his crazy looking skin that he'd stand out a lot, but I don't even see him anywhere. Where is he? Oh, he was. Oh, that's because he was over here. There he is. This is my this is my blockchain based one. All right, we want him to craft something. Back to the blacksmith's chambers.
All right, so this guy is a uh, level one, but he has a better chance for crafting things than my other Oogie, uh, Boogie. Or Booger. I have Booger and, and Slushy are my two that I've, I've given names to. What do you say? As much as you've been playing, you're doing great. Oh, thanks so much, man. I appreciate that. Look, he says, as much as I've been, I've been uh, uh, playing, I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah, I haven't played this game that much, guys. So, I, you know, I'm definitely trying to learn uh, every time I'm playing and level up my skill levels. Let's see. Uh, so, should we, we should we get Red Mage? Uh, I don't, I don't really want... I don't really want to have that one, but we could craft it anyway. Let's see what else we got. Weapons. So we could do barbarian sword. We have a staff. I don't have any other shields. Or we do Viking sword. We could do red mage guards. I don't have any other weapon belts, or I could do. So we're, we're gonna do. We're gonna do these new uh, red mage uh, boots. So you can see. I mean, it doesn't take a lot. It's twenty of these leathers and one rune. So we'll get them to craft that right now. And you can see he does it pretty fast. Look at here. He goes boom, 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 boom. So there we go. Done. Oh, I can't even take it because I got too much stuff in my inventory. Oh, nope. I gotta drop some of this crap off. Got a fish though. <laughs> Got to fish. All right, I gotta go drop all this crap off in the uh, skill shrine here because I don't need it in my backpack. Otherwise, I can't get my sweet new things. I'm gonna show you what they look like here. Oh, not the fish! Not the fish! Not the fish! Your sacrifice is pleasing to me. All right, back here we go. So see, these didn't get any special stats. They're just regular ones. They're white, like what we call it, like a white tier item. Green tier is like the next level, blue, and then purple's the best. So let's see, let's do that. Let's get him to craft it again. Now, one thing I don't know, like when you craft a bunch of things and you can't fit them in, in, in your inventory anymore, like I'm not really sure what you can do with them after that. Can you then, can you like donate them to the skill shrine if you're like, oh, I, I made 50 red mages, uh, red mage boots. I wonder if I could then just donate them to the, the skill shrine or if I can't do anything with them or I just have to drop them. I don't, or I don't know how that works. That's not, that's not a problem I've ran into yet. Because <laughs> you do have limited items in your, in your inventory in your space. So we're just going to craft a couple of these and then see what happens. Oh, so yeah, so you can. So if I did like 50 of these and I just had, I'm trying to get like a rare one or something, you know, I could take these and go turn them into the skill or the, the uh, ring shrine and they'll get me points. So here I can go over here and equip and we'll see. Like right now I'm wearing the loincloth, the little lion loincloth. Um, and... We want to put on our red mage. Boom! There we go. And see, this I mean, I have plenty of space in my inventory, so it's not like it's not like I, I I need to get rid of it or anything. It's just, but if you get to a point where it's like, oh man, I got so many things, uh, I don't nearly need them all here. And I'm actually I'm gonna take one to the skill shrine. So I can go see how much you get for it. Oh, so there you guys go. So two weeks uh, until the next update for the skill shrine. That's pretty cool. So it's, it's very close. So there, there'll be a lot of updates for the game. And I'll definitely be playing the game again. 
uh, after that update. So you guys will he see it here again on stream. You know, I, whenever there's an update in particular to these blockchain games, because a lot of them are in development right now. You know, we talked about this game being in closed alpha. It's not available to just play. Uh, you have to go get a founder's pack and then be in into the closed alpha. Uh, a lot of these blockchain games are in the same situation. You know, they're they're in some of the the, the closed alpha stages or just getting started. So you know, uh, there's a lot of updates coming, and so there's a lot of new features and a lot of things to explore. So I, I I do love doing that. And so anytime that a game has an update, I always try and get it back on the schedule so we can play it again. Uh, as a matter of fact, like we just played Gods and Chain the other day because they did a uh, a brand new update where you can do versus matches, which I love. I love the fact that people can just direct challenge. Which is, you know, one of my favorite features, and I, you know, I had I challenge a bunch of people. I beat P Wow's ass on stream. That was a lot of fun. Uh, and I got my, I got beat down by some of the best players in the game too. They came out for my stream and uh, beat me up on stream too and embarrassed me. So that's okay though. <laughs> I still have fun. You know, I'm not, I'm not really losing much. Maybe ranking is is all it would be. Well, when you're doing a direct challenge, you don't lose any ranking, but. Okay, so I want to see how much these get you in your, in, in like a, oh, so they get you 20 points. Yeah, that's okay. We'll just stick them all in here. But it looks cool. Look, it's like a little bit different than what I had on. And I, I, I got that, uh, I got that one. Gray 20, green 40, yeah, so that they're, yeah, blue 60, okay, yeah, so you get more if they're rare. So, and I got, I got this upgrade just by fighting, so I got it through fighting, and I, I learned this, how to, how to make this thing through fighting, uh, which was cool, so. And uh, as you guys have noticed, every person I've been fighting here, no one is doing a, a one-handed weapon build like what I have right now. Almost no one is using shields and, and a one-handed sword. Uh, so like I said, with this character, I, I've been just trying to do something a little bit different. And I think that looking at all the characters I've fought, I've never once fought anybody who is, is not using a two-handed weapon. So if you're listening, Dread, I know you were listening. Buff one-handed weapons, man. Give me a buff here so I can have a, a sweet Viking character with my sword and shield, and I get a little bit more buff on this. I think I think I think it, I think one-handed weapons need a buff, man. I think they do. Yeah, I know they're not ideal. Yeah. Yeah, th these are just ones that I could craft, so they're just better than what I did have, you know. So if you look at the difference, so base strength versus this right here. Uh, you know, they, I, these are just ones I had put on because I had crafted some different ones. So yeah, really what I want for the character I have is I want the barbarian headband and I want to be wearing the starter boots, even though they're not the best. And same thing with the barbarian arm guards and, the, and their basic weapon belt. But I do have the ring of the tiger, which gives me better physical crits. That's cool. Plus 3%. And this one's not too bad. But once again, it only gives me magic crit, which is yeah, it's okay. But it was the it was the better one-handed weapon that I could make. But yeah, I think I don't know, man. There's definitely a reason why people are using two-handed weapons. You know, I don't know what it is about one-handed weapons that maybe are not appealing. Maybe it's just the fact that when you block, you're not really, you know, maybe you're not getting as much blocking ability. Uh, with your shield, or it's harder because they're, you know, a one handed weapon is not doing as much damage. And so, because uh, of the play style, two handed weapon makes, uh, yeah, two, two handed weapon is easier, essentially. I don't know if it's easier, but it definitely is, is more, it does more damage. So, if you're, you know, timing your swings just right, yeah, you need more skill. So, there you go. So, I'm just not very skilled. <laughs> Darth is, uh, Dread is just like, oh, you know, you're, you're just not very skilled. You got to get better at it. Well, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm definitely getting better. Uh, trying trying to get uh, things going here. All right, so we're gonna try and see if we can do one more uh, match. Actually, you know what we'll do is I'll I'll, I'll switch to my other character that is a two-handed character, and we'll uh, we'll jump on that one. So see, this was my very first character that I've leveled up, and I've leveled up to like 19. But I didn't really understand how this what the skills were like the like uh, the you know so the skills I picked weren't the best. So you guys can see the ones I have down below, like they, they weren't necessarily the best skills that I, I would have picked. Uh, and now that I know better, I would I would pick different skills. And you can like reskill and stuff like that uh, as well. So there, if you uh, have like these diamonds, you can reskill and respec your character essentially. Uh, but I haven't been able to 
<coughs> ah, sorry. I haven't been able to do that uh, here uh, with uh, with what I have going on right now because I need I need extra diamonds essentially. <laughs> All right, last match against the stash killer. Let's do it. Just getting beat up. Yowch. Stash killer smashing on me. That's how it goes. <laughs> I end in defeat. FF, buddy. <laughs> I love it. FF. <laughs> Who is this stash killer? We may never know. We may never know. All right, well, that's Nine Lives Arena, guys. I hope you guys really love this game. You know, I really enjoy it. I think this is a pretty unique game uh, overall, in particular when it comes to all the different blockchain-based games. There's a lot of games out there that are blockchain-based that are very similar. You know, you see a lot of card games, and you see a lot of uh, games that are, you know, doing some very similar things. But Nine Lives Arena is not. They're doing something. Uh, they're doing something that you know is quite different than what we see in, in all these other blockchain games. And you know, it's it's a game that's fun on its own. It doesn't necessarily. It's it's not like a, you're just using blockchain as a gimmick. It's not like, oh man, this is just a gimmick, and you know, there, there's nothing uh, to it but just the fact that, oh, it's blockchain, blockchain, blockchain. You know, there's actual purpose for the blockchain items in game. Uh, there's crafting, which is already pretty in depth, and you know, you can uh, <laughs> another stash mounted on his wall. <laughs> I know, right? There should be trophies you could take, and you know, you get the stash and you stick it up there. You know what? I, what I heard actually, rumor is, is the Nine Lives Arena team is going to be making some sort of stash-themed items for me at some point in the game. That's the rumor I heard. <laughs> but yeah, so so I think they've done a really great job here with this game and uh, making it already fun. You know, like I said, not it, because it's in closed alpha. There's not a ton of people playing it right now, but it's a great opportunity to to level up your character, get familiar with the game, get your oogies leveled up, and and get in there and play. And uh, you know, there's always usually somebody that you can jump in and have a match with. So you guys saw today, like you know, sometimes there isn't. So then you go fishing and you go level your stuff up, and then when there is, you go and jump on the pedestal and. Uh, and get some training in, or or get some death matches in, you know, right? So hope you guys like Nine Lives Arena. That is mission complete. Mission complete, agents. Congratulations, you guys did it. You're here for another mission for another week, and we completed it. We infiltrated Nine Lives Arena, and uh, with our new island stash disguise today. And I really appreciate all of you guys being here. You know, we're gonna be here every Thursday, just like we always are, 4 p.m. I hope you guys will be here and join me again. That's all we have for today. Secret Agents, mission complete, and Secret Agent Stash, over and out.